Okay, so welcome to another video. Um, we have another unboxing, unwrapping sort of thing going on here at the minute. So, um, yeah, we might as well go straight into it, I suppose. So, what we have in front of us is what's known as the Ultra View by MSA, which is the Mining Safety Appliances. Now, I got this off eBay. It was quite cheap. Uh, I think it was quite cheap or a good price at least at the current times with what's going on in the world. So this cost uh, 25 British pounds. I don't know if that's good, don't know if it's bad. Uh, couldn't really find anything too much about them on the internet. So um, we have what we have in front of us. So we're going to get to opening this. Okay, so it was found in a house clearance apparently, so it is a few years old, as you can imagine. In the bag, we've got just some gel, you know, keep it fresh, rubber fresh, I would have thought. Put that down there. So here is the mask, as you can see. It's a bit grubby, a bit dusty. We've got MSA at the top here. Now the filter that this has on it, I believe, is a yeah, so it's a Scott Pro filter. Let's have a look. So we've got a CF32 well, P3 apparently. Okay, so this is one of the older ones, but it looks fit as the more modern P3s are quite a bit smaller now, which I can do in another video if you would like. Let's have a look at the date on this. So we've got the 4th 2010, so 04 2010. So that's April of 2010 that this mask was, well, that this filter was in date. So the only problem with the Scott Pros is the filters don't actually come sealed. So yes, they still work, but is they're unsealed if the bag like that is unsealed it doesn't really mean that these are going to work as best as they can work unfortunately i'm sure this may will still work given that it has been in a bag although not sealed but uh might try that out at some point so let's put that down for now shall we have a cool look at the mask now so, got this the end i would assume that's the outlet valve by the looks of it and uh, sorry that little black bit on my finger there's some oil that I can't get off my finger from fixing my bike so uh, hey ho uh, so you, okay, let's get that in there sorry about the different light sources here it's all kind of lighting in here I'm going to get better at a later date and I believe that is a 40 mil um, thread uh, tell you what I'll pause the video here I'll get a 40 mil thread and uh, we'll have a little look way back so got myself one of the more modern p3 filters by scott pro or known as the scott pro uh, pro 2000 pf10 and this is a p3 filter so let's have a little look will it fit on there line that up nicely there we go so yeah that, that makes quite a tight seal on there so that is all good so there we go, focus, there we go. As you can see, it does work with the, well, it just tells me that it is definitely 40 mil. Take that off, there we go. Now one thing that I have noticed with this as with the packaging, unfortunately, the sort of tape around here on this metal clamp has come off a little bit. It's not too big of a deal, but it is slightly annoying. Hopefully it will still make a seal. So I believe this is, like I said earlier, the outlet valve. We've got a nice panoramic view kind of visor here. You have to get that dust. And a five point harness. Uh, what do we have on here? Okay. So on the inside of the mask, let's see if we can get in there. There we go. So you've got your ooh, you've got all your little valves in there and whatnot in there 
So with the lighting where it is, I can't really move it at the moment. So it's a little bit difficult to see. Look at that there a little bit. No, there's not too much taking too much of a difference. Oh well. But um, yeah, so that is the mask. Uh, I'll probably make a part two to this video. Uh, actually wearing the mask, seeing if it uh, still makes a seal, how well it works. And I'll use the uh, P3, newer P3 filter by Scott. But uh, yeah, so I know I'm still not too good at these videos. Do hope you have actually enjoyed it though. I'm trying to improve these as I go along. Unfortunately, I don't have a lot to work with at the moment. This is only being filmed on the phone, so it might look terrible and sound terrible. I am sorry for that. But uh, hopefully it'll get better. After a while, I'll open more things, different things, maybe a few more gas masks, completely different things, and do some more railway videos, because that's what my channel was actually about, with what's going on. Can't really go to any railways at the minute, so there we go, but have one last look. Back in there. So that is the MSA Ultraview uh, Protective Mask. And uh, yeah, so... Hope you have enjoyed it, and hopefully you will uh, return for more videos. Thank you very much.